Good day everyone. Uh, welcome to our discrete mathematics lesson 1 topic. Now to recap, I have uh, please check your syllabus. I have also presented there the different references, but uh, for the sake of others, so here are your references. You have zero fundamentals of discrete mathematics by zero discrete mathematical structures by Malik and Zen discrete mathematics and, in and its applications um, using understanding mathematics uh, by Bennett and Briggs if uh, I will also be posting or updating the syllabus so just constantly check on the syllabus and if there are new uh, references uh, that I will add I will also inform you ahead okay I will and will post it in our modules Okay, I want you to recall an advertisement you know, which has uh, claims you know, that claims about something okay and we'll try to an uh, and try to analyze them uh, are the statements true or false okay so recall a tagline from an advertisement that you know of or that you have seen or watched now, okay, now here are some of those now we have more energy must happy is it true is it true that um, this uh, multivitamins is complete from A to zinc? Or the other one, is it true that uh, bawal magkasakit dahil magastos magkasakit? Now, this adds, now in, in, connection, in connection to our topic, we will try to check the validity or the truthfulness of these claims or arguments. Okay, so that's the focus of uh learning studying logic okay so this is just one of the applications of logic by the way here are definitions of logic now it's a discipline that deals with the methods and principles of reasoning so one author says that it's all about uh reasoning however another author um define logic as evaluating arguments and reasoning so what's the difference between the two so we'll define them. Okay, when you say argument, these are assumptions, or it could be set of facts. No, or we call it, uh, we call them arguments, are also called premises. Okay, set of facts or assumptions, which are called premises to support a conclusion. Okay, so that's an argument. However, you have to be beware of deceptive arguments. We call them fallacies. No? These are ang arguments which are not supported with uh, premises or yeah, with, with, with facts. Okay, now you have a different topic for this one. Uh, it's a special topic that would be a lesson mm, three no, for in our module one, but it's not actually included in the activities. So it's just a special topic so that you will have an idea how to differentiate um, a formal logic from fallacy or the, uh, the true the true from a false uh, argument so we'll have to study these terms okay in the next slides however before that uh, here is a a puzzle no, where we can apply logic no. so let's uh, in order for us to solve this puzzle we have to use the different methods or different mm, techniques in in logic now this is your activity the uh, this will be your engage activity and you have to answer this one following the topics that will or the steps that will be discussed in the next slides okay let's let's start with the terms definition of terms when we say statement or proposition this is just uh, a sentence however it's a very specific type of sentence no? it's the building block of an argument and it's a declarative sentence you have to take note that it's a declarative sentence uh, pericol or English we have different types of sentences no? interrogative sentence and so on and so forth you, you have question I, I forgot what uh, the other term for a question again uh, a proposition is a declarative sentence which can on either be true or false but not both meaning a proposition should not have 
uh, eh, it should not be either uh, should not be both true or false okay both true and false rather so it should only be true or it should only be false okay as long as uh, we call it truth value you know, as long as a proposition or a sentence has a truth value a specific truth value then we call it a proposition or statement here here are examples of statements or proposition for is an integer yes it's true that four is an integer so that's why it's a proposition square root of five is an integer no square root of five is an irrational number so this sentence is false however it is still called a proposition since it has a truth value which is the false one washington dc is the capital of usa is it the capital of usa yes okay so the these are examples of propositions so i have told you earlier so the truthfulness of uh, uh, the falsity or truthfulness of a sentence or a statement is called the truth value. So it can a statement or a proposition can either be true or false only. In our higher courses, we will use one and zero to represent uh, true or false. One for true, zero for false. In your programming, uh, I think. Uh, when you evaluate an if statement, a conditional statement, no, the example an if statement, so the the results would true either be true or false. However, in a circuit, in a circuit, in an actual circuit, the result could either be only one or zero. Or, yeah, it has a we we call or we denote one for a an output which uh, has a voltage value for example uh, we can compare it with uh, lights now when a light bulb is turned on that's one if it's off that's zero okay that's an <coughs> analogy here are examples of sentences and we have to identify if these are statements or not Okay, you have these, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, Manila is the capital of the Philippines, what day is it? Help me please, mathematics is fun, it was hot in Ozamis, street vendors are poor, and the world is flat. So the answers for those one are the following, now the green ones are actually propositions or statements, now we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, yes it's true, so this is a statement. Manila is the capital of the Philippines. It's true. So it's a proposition or a statement. What day is it? It's not a declarative sentence. No, it's asking. So it's uh, false. Uh, no, no, it's not true. It's not false. Therefore, it's not a proposition. Help me, please. Is um, we cannot say that it's true or it's false. No. So therefore, it's not a a a proposition or statement. Mathematics is fun can either be true or false. No. For some it's true, for some it's false. So we cannot say that it's a statement. Okay? It was hot in Uzamis. We don't know when wha what date was the person describing uh no what time or what date that the person described Uzamis, temperature of Uzamis. So we don't know. So it, it can either be true or uh, it could be true or it could be false because for example um, yesterday if it mentions yesterday then we might be able to uh, tell that it's true or false but so we cannot consider it as a proposition or statement street vendors are poor now this is actually a a very confusing a state uh, sentence because uh, I, I, I assigned it as not a proposition because it's actually generalizing no, it's it, we need some we need some sort of debate about this one street vendors are poor and it's not if if it's uh, uh, the the argument here is that if the person telling this one is 
if he is saying that all vendors are poor, then the, the, the sentence should be a proposition or a statement. However, when it's just a vendor, street vendors are poor, in, in what place or in what area, so we don't know uh, the specificity or the specific or the details. So that is why as I flag it as not a uh, proposition or not a, a statement. Okay. However, it depends on the case on 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 how it is written. If probably if if the person re, uh, uh, if the person who wrote this statement says that all street vendors are poor, or let's say the street vendors of Uzami City are poor, so we can say that it's a proposition because not all. No, it's false. The, st the statement is uh, the sentence is false. So not all, because there are street vendors that are not poor but so again it's a kind of a debate no? just like in number five mathematics is fun for me it's fun for others it's not okay so that's why we can't we can't say it's a proposition unless otherwise now for example i would say um i would say for me mathematics is fun no or let's say Mark says mathematics is fun and we can uh, call it a proposition or statement and the last one is the word is flat the word is not flat it's it's round okay it's spherical so uh, though the statement is false but it has it has its truth value so we can say that it's a proposition or statement now, the basic component or the basic unit of a statement is what we call an atomic or a single statement. Now, when you combine two or more atomic statements, we use propos uh, connectives. Now, when we represent a simple statement, okay, mathematically, now if we present a, a statement mathematically, so we will use propositional variables. If you recall our examples, for example, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Now we can use a propositional variable for this one. Let's say it's letter P. Now we denote P to be the statement 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Just like when you use a variable in your algebra. Now for example, if we let X be the number of hours that the, the person will be working. Okay, that's a variable. So in in statements, we can also assign them in variable. Commonly, the variables used in propositional statements or the pro propositional variables are P, Q, and R. We can extend it to S, T, U if uh, the number of statements, simple statements, uh, exceeds more than three. So in, in logic or in discrete mathematics, commonly used variables are P, Q, and R. Though we can still use the other variables, but there are some variables that are, let's say, reserved. For example, i. Now, i is used to denote an imaginary number. g is used to denote the um, acceleration due to gravitational force, and so on. So that is why um, people in discrete mathematics uh, use the variables p, q, and r, since uh, they were not really commonly used except for r which is the radius but in logic so we use p q and r okay you can say that we can assign p to be 2 is a positive number q is negative 1 is a counting number so again we can assign or assign a statement into a propositional variable uh, when you combine two or more statements, now we call them compound statements, and they are connected by logical connectives. So, so the, uh, uh, these connectives ha ha are symbols. No, these are symbols to connect two or more um, simple statements or propositional variables. Okay, for example, this one. Now the this uh, symbol here is a connective and it is read as end. Okay, mathematically, we can write uh, this compound statement 2 is a positive number and negative 1 is a counting number into a mathematical form which is P and Q. So that's how we write in discrete mathematics. There are six main logical connectives 
from negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional by conditional, and exclusive or. Now the first one is an exemption to the rule. Now I have mentioned that connectives are used to connect one or more statements. However, the negation is different. I, it's an ex exemption because it's just negating or inverting a single or an atomic statement. Okay. However, uh, there are also cases wherein we can negate a whole compound statement. Now we have loss there, loss later, which will be discussed in the next slides. So again, we have the first one, negation, which is read as not, and whose symbols are this tilde and this one. Now there is another one which is a bar on the top of a variable that is still considered a negation or a complement in other terms. Now this is an example, uh, these are the truth values of negation depending on the truth value of the atomic si statement. Now, So say for example we have an atomic statement, now if our P is say, let's say, man is a mammal, okay, now that statement is true. So because man is a mammal. Now, its invert or its negation is false. Now, we can say, rewrite it as, so that the negation of P will then be man is not a mammal. Okay? Now, if the statement is false, then its negation is true. Now, this one here, this table here is called a truth table. Okay? Now, later on, we will be creating a truth table for a given compound statement. But for now, we will be just seeing truth tables for the main connectives associated words with negation are not it is false that it is not the case that so those are uh, associated words or phrases for negation so if you will encounter it is false that p so that's represented by this one now an asti uh, a single on some an apostrophe can also be used as a negation now there are four actually four I think only four known uh, symbols for negation tilde, um, apostrophe, then the symbol and the bar. Now I have not in, uh, included there in the bar. So for example, we if we have these statements, now we, we need to find or determine the negations. So 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Sophia is a girl. And Arnold is not here. So how do we get the negations of these terms. So we have here, now 3 plus 5 is not equal to 8. Okay, this is how we represent not equal to 8. Then Sophia is a boy. Now the opposite of a girl is a boy. Or we can just state it as Sophia is not a girl. Okay, now, especially today when uh, people are uh, uh, people are argue, arguing that there are more than one um, sex no, or gender. You know, so I if 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 you want to be safe, no, you can just say Sophia is not a, a girl. Okay, but we all know that biologically there are only two genders, a boy and a girl. So we can just say Sophia is a boy. Now the other one is th the original statement is Arnold is not here. So when we negate, so therefore we remove the not. Now just like multiplication, negative multiplied by negative will be just positive. Okay? So when we negate, so Arnold is not here. So I don't have Arnold here. Okay? Uh, I know an Arnold, a friend, uh, uh, a colleague of mine, which is named Arnold, so he's not here where I am now. Okay? So it's a proposition or statement. Okay? We have conjunction. Now, common, the most common word associated with with conjunction is N. Then the symbol is a inverted V, letter V. Then, we uh, suppose we have two variables, so the, this is now connecting two or more variables. Suppose we have two or more variables, then the conjunction of the two variables would be this one. Then suppose we have, if our if the truth value of our statement P is true, then Q is true, therefore the conjunction of the two is true if p is true q is false then it their conjunction is false if p is false q is true their conjunction is false if p is false q is false their conjunction is false now take note that uh, a compound statement using conjunction can only be true if 
all of the atomic statements are true otherwise when there is at least one false then the whole compound statement will become false okay that is using the word and now as you can see we have four lines here so these are the different combinations no uh, whatever truth value uh, to identify the number of combinations you just uh, use the uh, the number of variables and the formula will be 2 to the power of mm, n okay where n is equal to the number of variables. since we have two variables p and q you just ignore the pointer okay we have since we have two variables p and q so that's 2 to the power of 2 therefore there are four possible combinations or four pos possible values of these two no possible combination so we can have true and true no the statement can be both statements can be true or both statements can be false or p can be true and q is false p is false q is true okay, so this is the rule we will use the binary rule in identifying the number of lines okay or combinations now of a compound of of variables, now compound statements which compose of two or more variables. And also, you take note of the sequences of the changing of the change of values. For the rightmost side, now the value of the truth value will change once in a while. And so true, false, true, false. However, in the second one, it's changing every two rows. Okay, so on the next, the next two lines. Okay, now if you have three variables, so that this will increase. That would be change. Uh, th th suppose we have R here. Now R will be changing uh, every four uh, lines. And how would I know that? So just uh, use this one. One, one times two is two. Two times two is. 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Now, so y this one variable, this is for one variable, two variables, three variables, and four variables, and so on. So just multiply the pre preceding uh, with 2. Or you can have 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3. So we're just following again base two or binary for uh, the variables. So katong how many times it or kapila siya mag change? Okay. Um, words associated with and are the following and but also in addition and moreover. So example, we have this. 2 plus 6 is equal to 9. Man is a mama. The earth is a triangle. The moon is square. Apple is a, f is a fruit. And butterflies uh, and butterflies are ends. So we, did we need to determine the uh, truth value of each statement. Now you take note. This will be our reference. This table. This table will be our reference. So again, we will assign one atomic statement per variable. So if this will be our P and this is our Q then we need to identify what is the truth value of P 2 plus 6 is equal to 9 is it true or false? So it's not true ah, it's yes therefore uh, because 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 so P is false Okay, P is false I will just use equal sign since the arrow will be uh, used later on therefore our P here is false now q man is a mammal is true okay because man is really a mammal so now we will check with the table we have when p is false so there are two lines where p is false then q is true there is on there are only one line which is true therefore this compound statement is sorry for that Therefore, this compound statement here is 
false okay so the solution for that one is this now you have if you let p be 2 plus 6 is equal to 9 q is man is a maman then the conjunction of the two is false for the other one the earth is triangle the moon is square so both of them are false so our uh, compound statement is false okay now how about this apple is a fruit and butterflies are insects what's the truth value of this compound statement next is this junction or commonly or or okay the symbol for this junction is the letter V so the truth table so th this is the equivalent truth table for this junction we have true and true or true so we can read this true or true is true true or false is um, true false or true is true false or false is false as you can see here no a a this a compound statement with the with this junction can be true whenever there is at least one true in among the atomic statements however when all of them are false and therefore that compound statement is false so the difference is that for conjunction whenever there is at least one false value or one false simple statement uh, then the whole compound statement will become false for disjunction when there is at least one true then that whole compound statement will be true uh, that's uh, uh, that is disjunction okay now connect the uh words associated with this junction are or and either or okay, you have either p or q if uh, we use a statement or the sentence we can have it is either one is a number or man is a mammal so mathematically we can represent them as p or q okay here are some examples so we use now uh, the disjunction okay the disjunction connected so same with what we have done in the conjunction we will assign each of the atomic uh, variable or atomic statements by a variable so we'll have p and this one is q now again it depends on you which sorry it depends on you which uh, what variable are you going to assign now if you assign this is q then you just have to specify that this is q q is 2 plus 6 is equal to 9 and this is p money is a mama no. it depends on you again so but for us to uh, for us now for this class for for it to be easier to understand we'll just use uh, p no, we'll just follow the sequence of the alphabetical uh, letters no, the letters in our alphabet so the first one is p the q then r then s and so on okay now we have 2 plus 6 is equals to 9 is false man is a mammal is true then we have p or q now we will evaluate this check uh, we have here false then we have true and the answer is true therefore this one is true okay we have the solution no for number one this is true the number two both are false so that's false next I want you to answer this one what is the truth value of these compound statements now we have apple is a fruit or butterflies are insects the fourth one is conditional sorry implication if then then the symbol is this arrow so you have to take note of uh, the point here uh, the direction of the arrow 
and it's read as if p then q where p is the hypothesis now the variable located here is the hypothesis and the variable in this place is the conclusion okay if you change the uh, places of the variables and that would be a different story okay, if this is q this is r it's different no it's not equal when we say if r then q okay now in conditional the placement of the variables is very important here's a truth table for co for a conditional statement it can only be false when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false otherwise uh, the implication is true associated words with uh, connectives we have if p then q p implies q p only if q p therefore q p is stronger than q p is sufficient condition for q or we can say q f p q follows p q whenever p q is weaker than p q is necessary for condition for p so these are just the same now when this one when the expression is this however when the expression is this one if q then r then this changes now we have this will then become if q then p p implies q then you have p if q p follows q and so on okay some examples if vinegar is sweet and sugar is sour 2 plus 5 is 7 sufficient condition for 5 plus 6 is equal to 1 now you have to take note of uh, the statements now where is sufficient condition now okay so money sufficient condition so it's not a necessary condition so the answer for number one is true okay the vinegar is not sweet it's sour sugar is sweet not sour okay so both of them have false truth values now our mm, hypothesis is false our conclusion is true a uh, false rather so the compound statement is true how about for number two what is the truth value of the compound statement in number two next is by conditional or by implication now we now have two arrows okay and it's read as if and only if so p if and only if q so this is read as p if and only if q so we have here the different combinations now in you have to take not in by conditional by meaning both of the statements or all of the statements should have the same truth values for the compound statement to be equal to true otherwise the compound statement is false associated words or phrases if and only if p is equivalent to q p is necessary and sufficient for q examples determine the truth value of each of the following conditional statements 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 if and only if 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 so you take note of uh, you take note of, of the table so here's the solution for number 1 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 is true 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 is true so therefore the by implication the 2 is true and then you answer number 2 what do you think is the truth value for number 2 next we have exclusive or symbol for exclusive or is a circle with a cross now this is the only this is the only connective which has no associated words or phrases okay now the exclusive or of compound statement is just the negation no, of the by implication or by conditional so you take note of the truth values now when both have the same truth values when all of the, the atomic statements have the same values then the co that compound statement using exclusive or is false otherwise when at least one 
has a different truth value then the the truth value of the compound statement is true okay another symbol for exclusive or is uh, the symbol now in the priority of evaluation what if we are shown with a combination of the different uh, connectives now which are we going to prioritize trap priority is the tilde or the negation followed by conjunction disjunction implication by implication and the um, exclusive or so we'll have to evaluate first this this one then we have second priority is conjunction then evaluate this and also this just like in mathematics no so we have okay, some evaluate we have pm das parenthesis exponent multiplication division addition and subtraction so paria po din now, ang din lang uh, parenthesis uh, the topmost is the parenthesis no it's 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 a hidden rule it's a hidden rule that parenthesis should always be the priority those inside a parenthesis okay truth table i have told you earlier that we will be creating truth tables so here are some examples of uh, compound statements now we have to create truth tables okay i'll be showing you the examples now we know the truth table for this junction however the truth table for this junction that we know has only this okay that is why we have to get first uh, the equivalent truth tables of the negations of this so our first good not on bottom is that to specify the original or get on the <coughs> the not uh, the the atomic statement which has no connective now magina ato ang atom first evaluate then since we have two variables p and q therefore we'll have four combinations okay and here are different combinations t t t f f t f f then we'll get we'll negate p and q now for p negation of true is false true will become false not false is true not false is true this one not true is false not false is true not true is false not false is true so we now have the two and we'll then evaluate uh, the compound statement so again you recall or you remember the uh, priorities so the precedence rule okay pinaka on again si not then and then or then if then then if and only if and exclusive or so since this is disjunction so uh, second priority ratio then get the get the truth value false or false is false okay false or true is true true or false is true yeah true or true is uh, not false but true no this is disjunction so therefore when whenever there is at least one true so the statement shall be true so this is wrong again the correct answer is true so that is the truth table another we have if p then then if uh, p if and only if not q so again we have two variables p and q so we have this okay then get the possible combinations now we have two variables so there are four combinations t t t f f t t f f then since only q is being negated so we'll have the negation for q that's t f f t t f f t then those that are inside the parenthesis although one uh, the implication has higher precedence but we have a parenthesis so we have to evaluate first those inside the parenthesis and that is p if and only f if not q so our p is true f uh, negative and uh, not q is false so that's f so again check for for by implication the st all statements atomic statements should have the same truth values for that to become true so this is false this is uh, true this is true and this is false now if you can't remember just check the table for by implication lastly so we'll evaluate the statement so p against this one 
you have tf is f t t is t f and t is t uh, f t is t okay this is ah no the uh, this is implication now the rule for implication is that a statement a compound statement can only be false when its implication if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false now here the hypothesis is true conclusion is false so this is false for the others hypothesis is true ah no hypothesis is true conclusion true true hypothesis is false conclusion true true hypothesis is false conclusion false is true so that's how we create a um, a truth table for number three so again the rules of precedence uh, top right thing not p first and not q first then this conjunction first now you have these two and lastly this junction so this is the truth table for our uh, for number three for number four we have now three variables p q and r so again to determine the number of combinations we will use 2 to the power of n and since our n is equal to 3 since we have three variables of p q and r so this is equal to 8 therefore we will have eight combinations and for us to be able to identify properly the number of combinations we will follow the sequence you know, from the rightmost that's 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 and 2 to the power of 2 uh, these uh, the, the the answer to these are the uh, number of uh, number of times that our um, the value will change now for example r is equal to 1 2 to the power of 0 is 1 so meaning every step no well, the value of r will change so that's tf 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 then this is 2 to the power of 1 this is equal to 2 so meaning the value of q will change every two steps so that's T T F F T T F F, and this one is four. There, uh, which means uh, for every four lines, true and true, and a total of eight combinations. Then after, since only R is being negated, so we have here R. So the negation of this, and then the parentheses, those inside the parentheses first, and lastly the whole compound statement. So this is now the truth table for our compound statement and number five will be um, task to you students okay now same here okay again number five will be assigned to you please answer number five now so that whenever I will include it in our activity for example quiz or exam you will be able to answer it directly for this, we I will be only showing you the solution for number two since I know uh, we, we now have uh, problems involving conjunction, disjunction, negation. Okay. So we will just uh, perform or create a table for number two. That's one. We have exclusive words. Since we only have two atomic uh, variables, we'll have four combinations. Then we'll get the negation of Q then this statement here and then the statement here since they are inside a parenthesis and the last one is this one so we have these values no? and just uh, go on with this and for exclusive or just remember that if both statements no, if both or all statements atomic statements have the same truth values then uh, the whole compound statement will be false. I uh, will be, yeah, will be false. No, for example, if f, if p is false, the first statement is false. Just like uh, didn't he? So if the statement is false, then the other one is false, and the exclusive or is false. No, for example, if both of them are true, then it's false. Now remember, habas parihas tanan for exclusive or false gina. However, kung nalay bisan isa naglahi nila, okay, then the truth value is true. The compound statement will, the truth value of the compound statement will be true. Implications have variations, meaning the use of uh, this 
symbol here as variations we can a conditional statement can be converted to converse inverse or contrapositive so we have for converse we'll just exchange the two now again these are not equal statements so these are just variations because uh, having an hypothesis here is and conclusion here is different from this one inverse is just negating you know, the hypothesis and conclusion contrapositive is uh, interchanging the two the, 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 hyp the hypothesis becomes the conclusion the conclusion of the previous becomes um, the hypothesis so here's an example if Mar goes to school then Anthony will go home now suppose that these are propositions this is now the solution. Now we will uh, denote P. No, P for the first statement, then Q for. So you can say now since we have these terms, if then, so motong gibotang dito nga if that 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 then. Okay. So we'll use the symbol arrow. So we have here if Mar goes to school, then the converse is Q of P. Therefore, we'll just have to move here if Anthony goes home then Mar will go to school inverse is if Mar will not go so it should still based on this one no. if Mar will not go to school just negate then Anthony will not go home the contrapositive is that if Anthony will not go home then Mar will not go to school so that's how we uh, create variations of uh, implications now the last one again this will be your activity just answer this in your engage part so what are a and b if a says b is a knight and b says the two of us are the opposite types you use logic i want i just want to check how will you solve it using our discussions how will you solve this puzzle using the previous discussions okay so in the island smolians has uh, a lot of puzzles now this is just one of the very famous puzzle of Somalia there's an island that has two kinds of inhabitants one is a knight the other one is knight knights always tell the truth knaves will always tell lie so probably among the knaves are the bad ones so you encounter I uh, yeah it's not it's not probably but in that island the names are the bad ones now you encounter two people A and B. Si A mingun siya. B is a knight. Si B mingun siya. The two of us are opposite types. So now, uh, may tabo ani. If mukuyo gani A, then you are safe. If mu ah, sorry. If mukuyo gasa knight, then you are safe. If mukuyo gasa knight, then we don't know what will happen. Masin let's know gani le dito. Okay, now you have to identify or you have to know what type of people or inhabitants are a and b is a knight b knave or b knight a is knave or it could be both a and b are knaves or maybe both a and b are knights okay so you answer this one show your solution how did you do it okay how did you solve this puzzle and what are a and B. That's all for this session. So see you in the next discussion. Thank you.